Hey guys, Brelio here with another update video from RuneScape for Behind the Scenes May update. This happens to be Death Hats, Drainer, and Upgrades. Uh, most notably, the Death Hats, uh, the graphical updates to Drainer. So, uh, I already recorded this once, but totally failed and didn't record any sound. Um, so anyway, let me show you right off one of the upgrades that they did. You can now log in with Facebook. Um, basically works like any other game you can log in with Facebook. Uh, I don't do it, but if you know what it is, great. If not, great. Uh, it doesn't seem to be a big deal unless it's something you like to do. So anyway, we're going to log in. <coughs> and I'll show you what I picked up. We'll start with the Death Hats. Move on to a tour of Drainer as we're sitting here right now. So before we look completely at Drainer, let me... Uh, pop this into full screen there we go alright now the death hats here's the first one this is the wild hat after I show them both to you I'll show how they work and explain them to you so that's the wild hat I believe he has a better version of the duelist hat I'm not completely sure here's the duelist hat There you go, this is the basic version. <coughs> so, now, they morph. The first one is uh, after 10 kills. And after their first morph, you can do an emote with them. Um, I believe we'll basically bow your hat for the duelist one. I'm not sure what else. Um, and then there's landmarks for, I don't know, probably 50, 100, 200, etc. Stuff like that. Um, you can also, after your first morph, turn into a commemorative statue of yourself, and others can read it for a summary of your kills, including, if you want to include, your kill and death ratio, or, and or, your most valuable kill in the wild, which is pretty cool. Um, so those are the death hats. I just got them. I've, I, I don't go to the duel arena or PK in the wild, so I don't have any of that done, and I probably won't. So let's go on to a tour of Drainer. Well, there's a nice version of the hat. Looks like a lot of people have at least gone and dueled. Um, this is the bank in Drainer. And as you can see, Drainer Village has become very dark and grim. Which is a beautiful effect. Because it's meant to be a village like this. The guards have a cool update. We're going to come on by here and go up towards Trainer Manor. Now the layout is essentially almost the same. Now where you would have to walk all the way around to go talk to Maggie or Aggie or whatever the witch in there, there is now spaces in between each building you can move in between, which is awesome. I'm very glad they did that. It saves a lot of time than having to run around all the time. So right here I'm going to get here and turn around and this is on both sides of the village. There's a sign that says Drainer. All kind of drippy wet, broken up wood. Pretty awesome. Now Drainer Village, or Drainer Manor, the inside of Drainer Manor is the exact same. However, the outside has gotten a nice wooden update with some spooky wooden windows. There you go little sign on there. Don't really know the point other than maybe they patched up a hole. And there you go. Pretty cool, uh, pretty cool manner. Now then, other than that, there are other updates that came out, which are upgrades. Um, I already showed you the Facebook one. Other than that, there is now an option when you're making summoning pouches at a summoning obelisk to show all of the pouches that you can possibly make like it already does, or show only what you have the tertiary components for, which is your material that you add with your pouch to make a pouch. There is now a make all option for opening coconuts, adding feathers to bolts, and there is a plant X option for planting seeds in plant pots, as well as when you water a plant pot, 
it will water all possible plant pots that you are capable of doing. For example, if you only have maybe three or four charges in your watering bucket, it'll only water that many, but it will water that many. If you have a magical watering bucket, it'll water them all. There is a left click option to attack a lot more mobs now, such as God War Bosses, the Dagonoth Kings, King Black Dragon, the Kelphite Queen, Bork, Skeletal Horror, Tormented Demons, Dark Beasts, Metal Dragons, including all Iron, Steel, and Mithril Dragons, Strike Worms, all of them, and Mutated Blood Velds. So again, that I mean, it's very convenient to be able to left-click rather than thinking you can left-click and running right into them or past them. And Bob Barter at the Grand Exchange will decant four doses into two or three doses. Crystal bows and shields can now be recharged whenever, regardless of how much is left on them. You do not have to use them down into a crystal seedling again to be able to recharge them. Your gold mining outfit now will work with your Varrock chest. Now that means if you have the entire gold mining outfit and are receiving the 2.5% boost to your mining XP, you can put on your Varrock chest if you've done those tasks and uh, still get your 2.5% mining boost. Now of course you have to have the rest of the gold outfit on and just flip flop the chests, that's it. Uh, which is pretty nice because then you can just mine even faster. It's an awesome boost. Very glad they added that. Now, other than these, there are many other upgrades that they added that aren't necessarily something that I was completely interested in or figured it would be that much worthwhile to tell you about. So if you're interested in seeing it, go over to runescape.com and click on the Death Hats Drainer and Upgrades post. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I actually recorded video or uh, sound this time, so no more takes. <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please be sure to thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.